joining me now. Well, we've got three of them right there in Austin, Texas. Tesla shareholder and Gerber Kawasaki CEO Ross Gerber, Barron senior writer and auto industry expert Al Root, and Tesla Owners Club of Austin president Matt Holm. Ross and Matt were sent one of the 15,000 exclusive invites to the Cyber Rodeo, and they're going to be heading to Giga, Texas, right after this interview. Al, you and I, we, I don't know, ours was lost in the mail. We didn't, we didn't get it, but um, you're all there. Matt, I am going to start with you, because this is a big moment. You have been a big cheerleader for Texas uh, Giga Factory, but not only that, you, you love your Teslas. You've got several of them. What's the atmosphere like, and what has it been like in the last 24 hours? So we have had some social warm-ups with hundreds of people who have come in town. And the funny part is not everyone, in fact, the majority of them don't even have tickets to the Cyber Rodeo. Mm. They just want to be around the excitement. Um, I mean, it's a, it's frenetic here. Uh, everybody's super excited. We're trying to get as many friends as, as we can with plus ones, et cetera, but it is a very tight list right now. Yeah, I, I would have loved to have been a plus one, but... Mm. Not, not so, Al, neither you, but you've already landed uh, just a couple of hours ago. You went to the site, right? Can you describe what you yeah. saw there? Uh, a lot of planning. You know, there was a few things, right? I, I kindly asked if there was somewhere I could park, and security told me to very nicely get lost. It is a massive <laughs> facility. It is a massive facility. Um, one of, you know, I, I've been to several car plants. Uh, I would call this one of the larger car plants I've seen. Um, it's very impressive. It's very difficult. It'll be very difficult for me to sort of run across the highway and try and get into. Uh, but it was an impressive sight. And yeah, no, I wasn't allowed to be uh, Ross's plus one either. I think he took his wife. Oh, God. Ross, to you. Yeah. Uh, Ross, what are you expecting to hear? Can you give us the chatter and, and sort of the rumor mill that could come to fruition tonight for Elon Musk, who takes the stage at 9 p.m.? Well, it's called the Cyber Rodeo, so I think it's all about trucks. And when you come to Texas and you see the, the sort of juxtaposition between the Teslas on the road and the Ford pickup trucks, you can really see the vision that Elon has on taking over the truck business in America. So this is one of the most consequential moments for Tesla as they move from being a car company into being a truck company and doing it in the heart of trucks here in Austin, Texas. So, so I think this is really a great marketing opportunity for Tesla to get into the roots of really the good old American pickup truck, you know, history of Ford and GM and really establish itself as a truck maker. So that's what I'm most excited about. Mm. I, I, I have a cyber truck right here. Imagine that. Actually, it's 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 the cyber whistle. That's all I, I forgot. Forget. Mine. I forgot my whistle. Yeah. yeah. Oh, God. Um, Matt, uh, you had an event last night, and somebody important to the Tesla universe was there. Sandy, what, what's her name? You tell me exactly what happened. She's dancing here. He's dancing Sandy here. Sandy Monroe. Sandy Monroe, <laughs> his, his Sorry. name. Yes. Yeah. So Sorry. Sandy takes apart vehicles and examines them and then is very critical uh, and, and kind of breaking them down and determining uh, the quality of the build. And so his YouTube channel has exploded. Uh, he took apart the first Model 3 in 2018. He recently took apart the 2022 and essentially said they're completely different cars. Elon is at the forefront of just innovation. Every car just gets better and better. And so Sandy's sort of a rock star uh, as a as a reverse engineering on the okay. vehicles, and he shares what he finds with the public, and and the Tesla people love it. Well, Al, uh, what does he need to say tonight that will make a difference for the stock as it goes forward? Oh, what's he need to say? That's a good question. You know, I think um, you know. So Ross is very focused on trucks. You know, the Cybertruck's going to hit roads right. probably in 2023. Any timeline adjustment to that would be huge news. You know, I, I don't necessarily think um, that he'll deviate from his product plan in January very much. I think he'll focus on okay. uh, talking about manufacturing excellence. And like Matt was saying, some of the innovations that he's bringing, uh, you know, structural packs, uh, the battery pack being part of the structure of the car. Um, right. You know, like uh, Matt says, things totally different, even though it's the same model over a couple of years. Okay. I think he'll stick run. to his manufacturing excellence. We're going to be hit by a commercial break. Uh, Ross, uh, take some pictures. We're going to show Ross's video tomorrow on the show. We're coming right back.